Lady Charmaine, and my guest today is a 24-year-old designer from Los Angeles, California. He is the latest eliminated contestant off the hit show Project Runway, and he's here today to talk about the show and what his experience was like. So help me welcome Mr. Blake Patterson to the show. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Well, welcome. Now, you are fresh off the heels of New York Fashion Week. Now, did you attend Fashion Week last week? Of course I did. So please tell me what your experience was like and what was the Project Runway fashion show like. So tell me all about it. Um, It was fun. I mean, it's always intense during Fashion Week. I mean, there's so many people racing around and just to see that, like, five, ten minutes of the show. So it's always intense, that Fashion Week. But um, the experience was good. Um, It was fun. Now, do you have a favorite designer, someone that you might like and that you've always admired and you got a chance to see their show? Um, uh, I mean, I saw a few shows, but, um, I mean, it's always interesting during Fashion Week to see what people are doing. Okay. Now, what was it like for you connecting with your former castmates and seeing everyone at the Project Runway Fashion Show? It was good. I mean, I'm friends with everyone, uh, for the most part. It was good to see everyone that, um, back in New York. Felt weird being there, but, um, felt like we, I was just there yesterday, but it was good. I mean, we all... I got to hang out with um, most of the people that were there, so that was nice to see them. Okay. Now, I want to talk about you in the beginning of your career. When did you realize that fashion was your passion and that you wanted to be a designer? Um, well, I went um, when I first started. Well, I guess when I came to school, I uh, realized that. <laughs> I uh, been out here for like four or five years. And so I went to school at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising uh, for two years. And I went back to the Advanced Fashion Design Program, where only nine people out of the whole school get in. Mm. We do a whole collection. Um, 10,000 people come to the Santa Monica hang- or the Burger Hangar in Santa Monica um, and see what we have to show. And so after I did that... I mean, just one thing led after another, and I ended up on Patrick Henry. <laughs> now, when you say one thing led to another, when did you decide that you wanted to audition, or did someone come and ask you to audition for the show? How did that come yeah, out? Someone, yeah, someone from Patrick Henry was in the audience um, and saw my show, and they're like, you should apply. I'm like, okay, I will, and then I did. <laughs> and so that was your very first time applying, and you made the show? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I made it. So yay! <laughs> now, did you did you watch the show before? Were you a fan before of the show? Or yeah, I mean, okay. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen yeah, I've seen a few seasons. Um, I mean, it's a lot easier sitting on the couch seeing what they're doing <laughs> mm-hmm. than actually being there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it was a fun experience. I'm happy with what I did on the show. I'm happy I won the Mary Kay Makeup Challenge. Can't wait to be in Mary Claire magazine. <laughs> Now, now you see, you you have more of a subdued personality. So, what was your reaction like when they called you to let you know that you were going to be a contestant on on the show? I mean, I kind of knew. I don't know. I mean, like, I just, I mean, I, I mean, I'm obviously I was good for TV, but um, I don't know. I just, I just have that feeling that I knew I was going to be in it. I was just like, what's the next step? Where do we go from here? What? I'm just. I mean, I'm always used to doing a lot of things, so I was just like, what do we what do we do now? Like, what's the next step? I mean, I was excited to, like, do it and everything, but, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, for you, um, being a contestant on the show, how difficult was it for you knowing that you were going to be making a garment for Heidi Klum's collection? What was the pressure like? I mean, I think I got too much into my head. I mean, I... It was just keep thinking about production and, like, how it was going to be for Heidi Klum and not so much myself and, like, really having it, like, my designer feel onto it. So I guess I just got too much into my head. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that sounds I didn't really like too much. Okay. Because it seemed like a, a few of the designers were struggling, and it's amazing. This was a challenge that required just two little pieces, some bras and panties, but it seemed like it was one of the biggest challenges for some of the designers with less material. Why Why was that? Well, I design with movement and the fluidity of the fabric, so when you don't have any of that, I kind of guess I struggle with just, like, dealing with a two-piece. But, I mean, there's so much work that you didn't see going into it. There's so much lace, hand sewing, mm. and that just takes so much time with Project Runway doesn't like to give you. So, um, and it was just, it's just so much more. I mean, it doesn't look that hard, but it is. 
th that was my question. My next question for you. Did you run out of time when you were making your piece? Because I noticed like some of the straps, whatnot, wasn't sewn on properly. What was your struggle? I mean, just like, um, just like having a designer feel like my designer aesthetic into it. Like I just felt like it wasn't me. Like mm -hmm. it's just, I mean, it's just so like basic and silly to me that I'm just all about the drama and the movement of the fabric and to not be able to do that when it's just like a brown of panty was just was kind of hard. <laughs> okay. If you had to do it all over again, what would you do different in this challenge? Um, probably actually have like a finished piece. <laughs> like <laughs> <Okay>. not, <laughs> you know, because Heidi's like, um, don't decorate the cupcake, even though like other, that's what everyone did. So I probably shouldn't have listened to her, but I mean, you're not going to not listen to Heidi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe just have more, I mean, oof, I don't know. I would have done something differently. Because <laughs> I know they're trying to edit everything down, you know, into a, a one-hour show. How long is the actual judging when you're up there? How long is that actual process? For when we are in the workroom is well, anywhere from like 9 to 12 hours, just depending on what we did before. No, no. When you're on the stage with Heidi and they're, and they're judging your garments and looking at your garments, you know, we only see a small snippet. Do, or is that what they actually saying? Then they just cut to the next person. Do they spend 10, 15 minutes on a person, but we might see maybe 30 seconds of the conversation they're having with you? Yeah. I mean, we definitely spend time talking about the um, the garment. So there is like time that, I mean, obviously it's edited down. So mm -hmm. when we're on the stage talking with the judges, like they each maybe have like five minutes with us mm -hmm. um, or if it go longer, it just depends how much we have to talk about with the garment and um, like what our inspiration was and, everything and if they rip up a new one or if they love it um i mean there's just there's not one answer for that because mm -hmm. it always changed but um yeah i mean it was definitely intense being up there in front of them with all the bright lights and everything mm -hmm. so for you what are you working on now now that project runway is over what are you doing um i'm working on my new collection and then i have a couple um well i do custom made them uh made the measure pieces for my clients so I have that to get back to and finish those and then just um, some side projects with um, other people. Okay. Now, um, are you going to ever open a store for your uh, company? Um, probably. I mean, um, it just depends where this road takes me. I mean, I definitely want to be in department stores, but um, right now I'm just really focusing on with my clients and doing um, some costume work for um, some performers and just, you know, having that one-on-one -on -one time with the client. Okay. Now, lastly, what was your biggest takeaway from being a contestant on Project Runway? Um, probably all the people that I met. I mean, I'm still friends with everyone. I still hang out with um, most of the people on the show. Um, and then, yeah, just like seeing what everyone else got to do on the show <laughs> uh, in the same time frame and everything. But, I mean, the biggest takeaway will be when I see my dress in Mary Claire magazine. <laughs> okay, I know that's right, huh? <laughs> and that's uh -huh. something you for every be able to keep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because my dresses are so editorial, and that's, like, what I love. Like, I, that's the moment that I love creating. When, I, when I'm thinking about designing, like, I'm always thinking about how it's going to look when she's walking or moving or, like, what it'll look like in the magazine. Like, that's just, that's the moment I love is, like, seeing the editorial, like, when everything comes together, the hair, the makeup, the photographer, and then my dress, like it just, it just, uh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, again, I want to say congratulations for even making this show out of thousands of people. That is a huge accomplishment. And again, being in Marie Claire magazine, how awesome is that? And I definitely look forward to seeing more from you. So hopefully I see you in the department store soon or on a website or something where people can go in and purchase your garment. So again, thank you so much, uh, Blake, for coming on the show. And I want to remind the audience to make sure that you tune in tonight to Project Runway on Lifetime, 9, 8 Central. And then on tomorrow, we're going to talk to the latest eliminated designer. So again, thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.